Good evening. The music was so good, I was like, well, I could just dance out there if that would be, if that would be better. Um, well, thank you all and welcome to the National Partnership for Women and Families 2019 Gala. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> I'm really thrilled to be uh, here with you this evening. We have an incredible program with some really wonderful, inspiring women. Just continuing in the tradition of really wonderful, inspiring women from last year into this year and hopefully next year, because when women are you know, at the table, better things get done, better decisions get made. Um, we are going to hear from three really incredible women in our, from our Congress. Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro, Congresswoman, yep, Deb Holland, Yay. and Congresswoman Lauren Underwood. And, as if that wasn't enough, uh, we're going to hear from Ellen Malcolm, who helped, yep, she's the National Partnership's former board chair, and she is a woman who, as you all know, you don't need me to tell you this, but I'm going to tell you anyway, helped to put these great women there and so many other great women and is helping to make sure that more women are at the table. Yeah. So, you know, this last election, like I said, it was pretty incredible. It was a historic moment for our country. We elected more women in the history of our country. We elected more women of color. Yeah. And we are, yeah, led by the one and only phenomenal, incredible, thank God, God, she's the speaker, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, I have to tell you that it really, you know, a lot of days you turn on the television and the news, it's, it's like, what's the tweets say today? Where are we going today? And then I see Speaker Pelosi and I think, all right, it's gonna be okay. There's a grown up in charge. Somebody's gonna, you know, make sure we get through the day. Um, she is someone who is a tireless fighter for our values, for the dignity of this country, uh, and for our rights. So, you know, I like to remind people, though, that as important as the last election was, 2020 is going to be even more important because we have to make sure that we keep making progress electing more women. Because we know that having progressive women at the tables where decisions are made it's essential to continuing to make progress, to protecting our health care, ending our country's maternal mortality crisis, defending and securing our reproductive rights, and making our workplaces fairer and more family friendly. And you know, the National Partnership has been doing amazing work uh, these last two years against all odds, and it really has been pretty fierce odds at the, that this work has been facing and, and dealing with. Your ingenuity has been remarkable, and I know you all agree that we need reinforcements. It's time for more women who share our views in positions that we have them in the positions of power at the local, state, and federal levels. At the end of the day, the, na the work of the National Partnership is really about women's place in our society, our dignity, our autonomy, and our absolute equality. So I want to thank you all for being here tonight and for doing all you can to advance the policies that women and families need. I hope you'll help us create a little buzz on social media tonight. We're hoping you'll use our hashtag, hashtag NPGala, G-A-L-A, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Share your favorite photos, gala moments, um, and you might see yourself up there on the big screen. So just to remind you, it's hashtag NPGala. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the remarkable wait staff here at the Washington Hilton. <laughs> National Partnership for Women and Families has been holding this event here for more than two decades, and uh, the folks here always take really special care, so big thank you for that. Let's also thank the team at the National Partnership. It is a talented group of staff members. They are skilled, they are dedicated, they produce this event on top of the incredible work that they do every day. Let's thank the staff. All right, now we're gonna get to our program. Enough of me talking. Uh, it is my real honor to introduce one of my sheroes, 
Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro. She is one of the greatest champions America's women have on Capitol Hill. She represents Connecticut's third district. She is a fighter for women, for families, and it's my honor to welcome Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro to the stage.